we're here in the car. It's Friday, May, May 21st. We're going to Cedar Point again to film a vlog. So welcome to the vlog. security and we are now at the entrance. There's a lot of these around the park now for the Frontier Festival. So when we get into the park and we're walking down to Maverick because Steel Vengeance does not open on weekdays because it's Friday, I'm going to tell a pretty cool funny story that I have. That's a new Cedar Point sign. We're gonna rush down to Maverick real quick. And I got a story to tell when we get closer. Because it's a school day, there's not really a ton of people here. There's only a few cars in the parking lot still. I remember for early entry on Saturday, it was packed. And today, it was like a quarter of that line. So it's, it's gonna be a pretty good hour that we have here. I skipped school for this, let it be good. So my school is pretty normal. It's a normal middle school. There's not really anything special about it. But some of the students are a bit different, let's just say. And so um, at the school, I've seen a bunch of different people wearing a lot of different clothing. So I'm just gonna tell you about the weirdest clothing I've seen at my school. I was walking out to my car because I don't ride the bus, I'm a pickup. So, and there was this kid, there was this lad wearing a full Pikachu costume. like. It was like Halloween or something. It wasn't Halloween. It was like January. And he was wearing a full Pikachu. A full Pikachu, like, costume. It's like, what, what is this person doing? Is he, he, he's either like a massive Pokemon fan or is just unique, let's say. So another costume I have saw in my school is there was this kid, an eighth grader, up in the library one day. And he was wearing an elven ears like you see in like The Hobbit or something, Lord of the Rings. My lad here is just wearing elven ears that are out, like, at least, like, maybe 10 inches away from his face. They're all the way out here. Like, what, what would you do if you were a teacher teaching this student? <laughs> so the last costume I saw at my school was the funniest one, and also the weirdest one. So, there was this person playing the marimba, and I'm a percussionist, so I know what a marimba sounds like in the band room. So I was walking by, and I looked in because it's a marimba player sounded like they knew nothing about percussion at all and I see this girl standing there hitting every note possible at the same time on the marimba and she was wearing a a full cat costume she had a cat ears headband and a tail sticking out of her back it was the it was the weirdest thing like she'd be looking like cat Mario like, 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 what is going on why what is the purpose of wearing this to school the only Thing that's going to come out of this is just you being made fun of. Which is exactly what I'm doing right now because it's hilarious. Frontier Town. I see a test rider on Maverick. It's also testing, so there's a lot of people in front of us. Actually, it's not that bad. Not too bad. It's probably like a staircase way. All right, we're going in. 9:05. They open the gate, so five minutes late. Typical Cedar Point, running behind. But I don't know. We're about 10 minutes. I'm gonna wait. So we just got off. Maverick. 
Maverick front row is awesome. One of the better, one of the better ones we've had in a while. And that the Stangle dive right over there. Yeah. It's just down. Yeah, that. What is it? Stangle dive. Stangle dive is quickly becoming my favorite part of the ride. At first, when I first started riding it, it was the the S turns right at the bottom, the 90 degree turns right right at the bottom of the first lift. Now it's then it was the launch. Now I think it's at that dive right after uh, right near the end. I know you're real bummed Thunder Canyon isn't open. Huh? Are you bummed Thunder Canyon isn't open yeah, yet? I really wanted to ride that. I really want to go to Have you ever ridden it? Yeah. Look at this. There's nobody at the station for Millie. I can't believe that. Because it's 9.30. We've already ridden Maverick. You think this thing be packed, but now I think it's a walk-up. At least walk to the station. So maybe we'll marathon this for a couple times. I don't know. We'll see. But my favorite gig so far besides Fury. Now look at this walk-up. We did have to show our platinum passes again at the entry for William, even though we So I guess the really enforcing gold passers got to wait. It's good. For us platinums. We were assigned row five. We're not gonna object to that because it really is my Force. They're um, transferring, transferring a train, so we're stuck here waiting. So we're still sitting here on the in the back back brake lock. Been sitting here for like 10 minutes now. They took yellow off, but they haven't moved anybody up. Thank you guys so much. Three, two, one. Like the pirate ride shirt. <laughs> You guys can grab onto the blue bar for me. Yep. Thank you guys so much. So that was one of the strangest <laughs> roller coaster experiences we've ever had. So we were on Millennium Force, stuck on the brake run for about 20 minutes, 20 minutes. And we were waiting for, they had to transfer yellow train because something's wrong with yellow train. So we were sitting there and then they couldn't figure out how to get the train to work. So we actually got ev evac'd on Millennium Four. So now I have a clickbait title, so that's fun. <laughs> so, and we got exit passes. Yeah, we got exit, pa exit passes, except for Steel Vengeance. We cannot use them on Steel Vengeance. Right but we will be probably using them on something bigger like Val Raven or if Dragster opens, we would definitely use them on Dragster. All right, so we're at top throw. I think we're gonna save our exit passes till it gets a little busier because it's probably only like I guess I haven't seen the line yet but 10 to 15 minutes because it's still early in the day the GP's only been in for 20 minutes they're all a gatekeeper and, and uh, they're all a gatekeeper and Raptor Val Raven. Val Raven so it's running with people it's about to launch one right now it's just about, it's about 45 minutes so we were in line for Dragster and it closed um, experiencing a temporary delay, so we might come back later and use our exit passes, but right now we're going to head down to like Magnum or Steel Vengeance. So we're on our way to Steve, but we saw that Magnum's a walk-on. So we're going to jump on here. We're either going to get front or row three. We're running pretty efficiently here. They uh, only have the front and back open right now. But we're in line for a row one. That ride is rough 
and loud, but it's very fun. We just got off Magnum. One of the jerkier rides I've had on it, but those airtime hills are very intense. One of the most intense coasters, um, coaster experiences is that finale. My hair's all messed up now. I have roller coaster hair. So we're gonna head down to Vengeance. Maybe try to find some food while we're down there. Okay, we're here. Still Vengeance wait. 60 minutes it says. 90. 90? Yeah, let's do it. What do we have to We'll do? see. We'll get in line. We'll see how long it really is. So, so Steel Vengeance is way too busy for us right now. It looks like... It's it's not that bad, but it's we've burned it so many times, it's not worth it for us to wait. Yeah, it's over um, but, 90 minutes. Yeah, almost. I mean, an hour wait for... Or not, if you've never ridden it, it's totally worth it. Yeah, but we've ridden it so many times, we rode it last time we were here. We want to get some other rides in instead of just doing that one again. So we're in line for line ride. We're, waiting. We're, in, we're in the line. We're going to do this real quick. <laughs> yeah, Sear Stack Mine Ride. So we just got on the mo off the most useless ride in the park, Mine Ride. And while on Mine Ride, we saw Dragsters running with people. So we are going to head over there now because we want to use our exit passes on Dragster. So we are here in the exit for Top Pro Dragster because we're using our exit passes because currently the wait is about an hour and a half, which is very long, but we are here in the exit pass. We're just waiting for front row now. There's a couple other people down there. It's kind of hard to see because I can't flip the phone around, but there's a couple other people. So now we're just kind of chilling here waiting for the cycles to go. coaster we've ridden. It's awesome. The second best ride here. It is out of control. It's so intense on the launch. Well, it was sir. it was watch our front row POVs man. It, it was lucky that we got the exit pass otherwise we would have waited for over an hour. But that is so good. That is so worth it. They didn't take away our exit pass. So so we're gonna use them on Valraven. Yeah, so we're gonna go after we eat, we're gonna use them on Valraven because we, they, they just didn't take them. They're, they were supposed to take them after one use, but they didn't. So we're just gonna use them again. Well, I showed it to her. She said okay, and then never came back. Yeah. So we usually end up hook Hugo's, but we tried to, we decided to try out the Corral, which is new for 2020. It's really good. You get all of those on the dining plan. It's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. We just got off Fell Raven. Pretty fun. Excellent ride. We got the front row because we actually used our exit passes and they took them this time. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It has lots of good air time. It's been, everyone says this ride is forceless. It's not forceless. It has no, good. it has a great first drop. Um, I know it's not much for length or anything, but the first drop itself is worth worth the wait. Now we're leaving the park, so. Yeah, so now it's about 1 o'clock and it's actually pretty busy. Millennium's in, um, what, 90 minutes? Still Vengeance is two hours to give you an idea, so <clears throat> we're just going to head out. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the vlog, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Why are you getting so close to me? So that's it for Friday, the 21st of May. Cedar Point. Somebody's crazy!